Alright, so here we have the recent motors from GEP RC. These are the GEP GR1206 motors. These come in 3 kV configurations 4500, 6000 kV, and 7500 kV. Uh, so basically, these were made uh, for the micro setups per GEP RC's recommendations. The 4500 is for uh, 3 or 4S. A battery on three inch props. The 6000 is for two and a half to three inch prop on 3S, and the 7500 is recommended for two and a half inch on 3S. Of course, you can also use 2S on that one with uh, the proper propeller. So, but those are the uh, basic recommendations from GEP RC. I've reviewed and tested GEP RC motors in the past. Uh, the larger motors and uh, they have always done quite well on performance and also from what I've seen on durability they're pretty good uh, no major issues that I've seen so far on those motors so hopefully these uh, smaller motors will uh, follow their big brothers let's uh, open up the boxes and see what they include so they come nicely packaged in little baggies and uh, oh that's quite nice uh, everything's labeled here they give you m2 by 7 screws this is for propellers that's even uh, labeled there so that's a nice touch uh, they give you m Two by five millimeter. That's for three millimeter thick arms, and M two by four. Uh, that's for two millimeter thick arms. So uh, pretty good from the Gap RC. They give you all this hardware. Not uh, that many companies do that. So that's pretty good. You don't have to scramble for uh, uh, screws. They are they're all included. And the motor itself comes uh, also in a bag. So nicely sealed. Basically, this uh, 1206 size, I guess, is in response to a lot of the requests from people uh, that uh, they're not happy with the 1106s. So they wanted something a little bigger that has more control uh, throughout the RPM range. Uh, so the 1206 is meant to fill that gap in motor size uh, so it's supposed to have a little bit more torque and control on the uh, uh, throughout the rpm range and so that's the idea of going with a slightly uh, larger diameter stator these are pretty well made uh, it's all 7075 aluminum on the casing and the base uh, the bearings are supposed to be nmb uh, they say NMB 520 bearings uh, that's the size on those bearings so NMB bearings uh, those are known to be good this is 28 gauge wire on the motor leads and uh, shaft diameter is 2 millimeters and configuration is 9N 12P so that's pretty st much standard for these size motors the micro motors and the motor mount should be standard that looks like it's 9 millimeters uh, so nine millimeters nine by nine so okay there's the motor I'm gonna try and pull this apart so we can have a closer look uh, but before that let's get some weight on this motor so on the specs it says 8.3 grams uh, I would imagine that's with the wire so uh, this wire doesn't weigh much it's pretty thin so let's weigh it with the wire and they give you about 90 millimeters of wire so it should be plenty length for most uh, setups uh, so let's see what it weighs There's some reflections there on the scale so sorry about that uh, that says 8.5 I know it's hard to read but uh, take my word for it that's 8.5 grams uh, so pretty close to the claim uh, weight of 8.3 I imagine that's uh, part of it it's the wire length so not too bad uh, compared to the 1106s is pretty close uh, pretty close uh, weight uh, just uh, maybe a gram or two difference from uh, some 1106s and let's have a closer look at the air gap pretty tight uh, pretty nice tolerances on this motor as you can see 
a nice and tight air gap between the magnets and the stator and everything's nicely tucked in out of the way all the wires there nothing hanging out uh, very compact base and so overall looks like a pretty sturdy motor so should be a good one all right so i removed the tiny e-clip so let's pull the motor apart and there it is and that's a, a two millimeter should be a two millimeter yeah two millimeter uh, shaft so pretty pretty good uh, diameter on that shaft uh, should be plenty strong for most abuse all right so let's measure the height of the stator it should be six millimeters so there we go that's that's pretty close to six millimeters so we'll call that six I usually use that ruler to measure because uh, a lot of times when you use the caliper the stators have a little bit of epoxy that sometimes is used so that's going to make it look taller than what it actually is so some stators have quite a lot of epoxy coating and that can add quite a lot but actually this one doesn't have that much coating but you can see pretty close to 6 so that's 6.1 and the diameter it's 12 millimeters so yeah 12 by 6 so no surprises there on the size of the stator uh, the magnets are N52 magnets as uh, stated there on the motor specs on the GEPRC website uh, so they're saying uh, that's high temperature wire on the windings so that's good because on this side sometimes the motors run a little bit on the hot side uh, most 1106 is run uh, fairly hot and uh, there's the N52 magnets and uh, 775 aluminum as I mentioned uh, so you go naked bottom on the motor so that cuts out some of the weight so overall it looks like a pretty well put together motor even actually I think even the um, uh, yeah that's a there's a lip there on the bell so that, that helps retain the magnets in place uh, that's pretty good uh, considering that these motors run a little bit uh, hot so that's good it also increases the uh, strength of the of the of the bell I'll put them back together and we'll put them on the thrust stand and run the usual props and see how they compare to the 1106s. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of power these put out. So overall, nice entry from KPRC. Uh, hopefully these are as good as they look. So alright, on to the thrusters.
Alright, so let's have a quick overview of the thrust test results for this motor from GEP RC, the 1206 4500 kV. This one actually came in slightly higher, 4700 kV. So that's still pretty good. A couple of hundred kVs. It's not going to make that much difference. So we went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S, the usual props. Something interesting about this motor uh, compared to other motors of its size, like the 1304, what uh, we can see is that for the light propellers, propellers that are not so aggressive, the 1304 is actually doing pretty well. It's making slightly more thrust than this motor, although it is using higher amps, but it is spinning faster. Uh, well, that 1304 I tested, it's got a, about a hundred or so higher kV value. They're pretty close, so that's interesting that uh, the 1304 uh, seems to be spinning the light propellers a little bit faster, but as we go with the more aggressive props, these larger props, the 1206 is actually taking over as far as thrust and throughout all the propellers this 1206 is actually uh, using lower amps so it seems to be a little bit more efficient so I think that's due to the couple of millimeters actually two millimeters taller stators that was quite interesting to see the transition of the light props to the more aggressive props uh, so a pretty good comparison between those two motors. Uh, you can check out those uh, results uh, on the channel. Uh, so that's uh, interesting to see. Anyway, uh, that's the thrust test results for this motor. Looks like a pretty good option for micro builds. Uh, instead of using 1106s, uh, this would be a good option. Hope you find that interesting and useful. Thank you for watching and until the next video.